Welcome to another video of SwiftCat. In this video is about a video player in a custom view with the Swift language in iOS. So what we are expecting to do here is I have a custom view over here. So what I'm going to make is I want to create a video player inside this view. So this is what we are expecting at the end like uh, I have a view and inside that view I have uh, placed a player and I'm playing a video over here. So, so let's start doing it. Here I'm going to create a new Xcode project. So I'm searching for my Xcode, right? And you can find here option to create a new Xcode project. I'm clicking that as well. And from here you can find the template you want to create the project. So I'm using here iOS and uh, app will be a single application. And you can click next. And from here you can give a product name. So I'm going to take this as custom view player. Let's say custom video player and uh, in the interface I'm using here is storyboard and uh, the language will be shift. You can check, uncheck this, click next and I want, I'm going to create the project in my uh, iOS projects folder. Let's create that. Here we go, my project is ready over here. Something like this. It's canceled. All right, so inside here, first of all, if you create a project, you can find here the app delegate and the scene delegate. So I'm not going to use here the scene delegate. So I just click on that file and click delete. Uh, so I'm going to trash. And also go to the app delegate file and I'm going to delete these lines because I'm not going to use this uh, scene delegate. I don't like that. And uh, what I'm going to do is in the app delegate, I'm creating a variable. This is for window, that's UI window. If, make sure that you add this line in your project. Otherwise, if you run the project, the screen will be in the black screen. Black, like, screen will be uh, appears black, actually. And finally, I'm going to import our PLS file. And uh, I have here the application scene manifest. I'm going to delete this guy as well. That's it. So fresh. So what I'm going to do here is let's create a, a simulator and try to run this project. Here we go. So it's a wide screen because so we have a main dot V controller with nothing else inside. So let's do that now. So I'm going to my main dot uh, storyboard actually. And here you can uh, find here this uh, initial V controller. This is selected as initial V controller. So in order to get our target, I'm going to do is I just want to create a custom view over here. So inside that custom, inside that view, I want to make the player to run over there. So let's check for this uh, view over here. I will tell you, you need to click here the plus button, and from here I uh, can select view view. And so let's scroll down. You can find here a view. Click that and track it over here inside this. And so let's make some width and height over there. And from here, I'm going to set the background color. Let it be a pink color. And I'm going to set here the constraints for that. The top, left, right, and the height. Let it say BB300 add four constraints so let's click over here and go to assistant editor fine and uh, finally you, the view which you have created that's created I need to create an IV outlet for that so just click control press control and uh, click drag it over here and name it as a video view that's it so now we will go back to the viewcontroller.sif file to make more space and uh, we will write pretty few codes so it will be ready for our target. First of all what I'm going to do here is I'm going to declare a var variable. Uh, before that let's import some uh, 
frameworks that's the AV foundation import AV foundation then I'm going to import uh, AV kit out there all right and uh, we're going to declare here some variables which is for the AV audio video player and also the controller so what I'm going to do is war let's say player and will be of uh, AV player and then I'm going to war and it will be AV P controller this is actually a audio video controller actually and it's having the AV video AV player view controller right so this will be like this so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write a function start video And inside this function, what I'm going to write is a player will be equal to AV player, AV player, and it will be of a URL type. So let's say URL, and inside should be an URL. So let's make the URL first. So let's say let URL will, will be equal to URL of uh, string and that will be of string here and we need to implement this uh, url inside this uh, let's complete this and come with the, back to the url so it's av player controller dot uh, player will be equal to the player itself then i have the av player controller sorry av player controller dot view dot frame dot size dot uh, height will be equal to the video view that's the custom view we have created there with the IB outlet so we need go to frame dot uh, size dot height so I'm setting here the height for the controller and then I'm going to set the width as well so let's say AVP player AVP controller actually dot uh, view dot frame dot size dot width will be equal to the video view dot frame dot size dot width and then I'm going to declare a self dot uh, video view with Add sub view and that sub view gonna be avp player oh, sorry AV controller dot view and finally I'm going to write here player dot play what if I didn't write this uh, player dot play means uh, it will come it will show the mm, thumbnail or else the video view but uh, it won't be start playing there that's why I have created a uh, player dot play over here all right so let's come back here this is the URL string player dot play and I'm going to bring this here the start video inside this video load mm, this should be actually equal to and then um, I'm going to search for the player URL actually I have here a URL this is from the fire storage this is a public uh, it, uh, URL anyone can use there and just this and I need to give an exclamation over here I will provide the link of this uh, URL in my video description so you can take from there in from the video description okay this URL I'll be providing all right so it will be ready now I guess so let's start running this and check for what we have done so far
here we go so I have here made a custom view so inside that view I can see a video player over there so what we done in symbol is like uh, we just made a URL and that I'm setting it with a player then the player will be this uh, video player and the frame and the height I'm setting it as the video view which the idea will be created there and uh, I'm adding the sub view as this player control and finally I'm play adding the player to play so that's it and uh, this you can see here you this custom views inside the player inside the custom view the player will be running here all right and uh, if you want to get it in the full screen you can do that as well you can play in the landslide portrait everything else it's pretty nice and it is very simple and easy so that's it so that's all in this video so in the next video what i'm going to make is uh, i'll be creating a custom ui slider and also we will try to make this uh, downtime and the count up time by our custom level using a custom slider and also this controls so we can make it as custom instead of using this AL audio video player so that's all in this video mm, thank you for watching and see you in the next video thanks bye